afternoon everyone <laughs> welcome to my channel both new and old i mean old by my loyal subscribers and new if you're first time here <laughs> if you if you is your first time here i'd love you to subscribe so uh let me know what you think of my channel if you've not been on it before um and if there's any way you think i can improve it you know so i do listen to what people say um you know it's amazing um people do give you very good suggestions Anyway, um, I just thought I'd update you on what, what's been going on in the last week. I mean, obviously, we've had the terrible news of the Queen, um, and it, it's so sad. But, I mean, she's lived a wonderful life at 96 years old. We should be glad that she's lived a, a full life like she has. Um, but it, it's still sad to lose a loved one, isn't it? Um, but anyway, God bless the King. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd, I'd update you. I've had such a busy week. Um, as you know, on, was it Monday? Or oh, Tuesday it was, that we went to Leeds and we had a lovely, on our pound rail tickets, we had a lovely day there. Um, and I'm sure, you sh I'm sure you saw the vlog of it. Um, I'm going to show you what I bought there. Oh, do you know, I've, I've, one of the items I've not brought in. I only bought two things when I was there, but I'll show you my buys of the week, of a few buys of the week. Um, and just update you on what's coming on in the future. Um, I was going to do an autumn home tour today, but I haven't quite, there's a few things I can't find. I don't know what I've done with them. Maybe in the loft. I may not use them this year. <laughs> I'd forgotten how many things I had. Um, anyway, uh, when we went, we went to Leeds on Tuesday. Then on Thursday, it was our bowling club end of season dinner um which we went we went out very early um at six to eat at six um but of course we got the sad news in the middle of it that the queen had died which i mean we were prepared for it because they had told us beforehand hasn't they that she was very ill and cause for concern um but it's so sad when you lose her isn't it you know it, it, it's never happened in most of us lifetimes you know that we've I mean, I can vaguely remember my first memory as a little girl was of the um, the Queen's coronation. That's my first memory that I can think of. And because I'd only be about three at the time. So, but I do distinctly remember going to the party, uh, the coronation party. And, and I remember it rained and my mum wouldn't let me go, go with the others. They were all going to somebody's house and she wouldn't let me go. I always remember that. Um, but anyway, um, it's very sad. It's very sad for the Queen and her family, you know. But she did live a full life, more or less to the very end, really, didn't she? Anyway, uh, so that was Thursday. Now, what happened Friday? Do you know, I can't remember. My mind's going blank. I think I was, like, clearing up Friday. <laughs> and then Saturday, I was going to do this video on Saturday, and then my daughter rang me, and, well, it was my son-in-law, actually, and said, you don't want to go out for brunch. And we went up to Scorton. I don't really remember. I think I did a vlog once before uh, when we went to the barn at Scorton. Well, we went there. Uh, I, I've taken a few photos, so I'll show them. You may, if, you, if they're the same as what I showed you before, just forward windy or something. Um, and then, uh, whilst we were there, um, it was saying that Scorton show was on, um, like a, it's like a, I don't know what, you, a country show. And it said there was clay pigeon shooting and all sorts. So we thought, we pulled into this car park, which was vast in a field. There were so many, many cars. And, you know, it must be a very popular. I mean, I'd never heard of Scorton show, but anyway, we did walk to go into it, but the entrance fee was £12 and we weren't being tight, but we'd only got about half an hour. So we didn't really think that um, it was worth paying £12, but I would have loved to have shown you that. It did look really good. And I have to say, you could hear them shooting the clay pigeons. At least they weren't shooting real birds. So that was one thing. <laughs> so, and then, um, yeah, well, yesterday I cooked dinner for the family and this morning I've been to the bowling club. We've got a few um, more events coming up and I had to go and pay for them. So, um, so that's sort of taking up most of um, the weekend and this morning. And this week I've got another busy week. Uh, tomorrow I have to take the dogs to be clipped. 
and then my car's going in for its MOT, so fingers crossed. I mean, I have got a bit of body work to do on it because awfully, when I, I know I told you a couple of weeks ago, my sister-in-law died. Well, I was at a house the day that she died. I was at a flat and um, I'd left my car outside and somebody reversed into it and drove away. So I've got that to pay for, which is really annoying, you know, when you weren't even there. Um, so they've they've damaged all the front of the car. So they'll have, they're going to have a look at it and let me know how much it's going to be. But it's so annoying, isn't it? You know, if you do it yourself, it's your own fault. But anyway, I'm going off at a tangent again, aren't I? <laughs> oh, and Friday, I just must tell you that Friday is when we're going on our pound rail journey to Liverpool. So we'll be giving you some feedback about Liverpool. We love Liverpool. Love Liverpool, love the people. It's such a lovely place. So anyway, when we went to Leeds, as I said to you, we only bought, a, well, I only bought a couple of things. I think Sandy only bought a few things as well. But one of the things I bought was from New Look and it was this jumper. I thought it was really nice. Can you see? It's got these, it's like open down the sleeves, but you don't really notice it when it's on uh, with these diamante buttons on. And it's quite a long jumper. I thought that would be nice for, you know, leading up to Christmas. I mean, I probably will put all my Christmas jumpers on again. Going out, going up to Christmas, I thought that would be very nice. So I was pleased with that. I think that was 29 from New Look. But it's a quiz jumper. And I got size XL. I don't like them too clingy. So I bought that. And then just bear with me a minute while I go and get the other thing that I bought full pumpkin from um well i actually got it from tk max i um i think i told you about it didn't i there was a cracked one um in uh there was a cracked one in home sense and they would only reduce it 10 percent. i mean i wasn't really bothered about it when i found out it was cracked but then when I went in TK Maxx, it was only $9.99. Now, I love this, and I've been looking for one for ages. Um, I first saw it on Rosie Henshaw's channel, um, and that, and I loved it on there. And then, oh, I can't think who, was it being Penny B? And then I saw it on another channel anyway, and they were talking about painting these flowers white. Um, but I love them uh, coloured like this in, in the beautiful flowers. I think it's absolutely beautiful that and that was 9 99 so I don't think it's bad for 9 99 because it's quite a big quite a big pumpkin isn't it now a couple of other things I bought this week Aldi I don't I got these Aldi dupes um and I think they're a dupe for Elemis this is a plumping face mask um I think this was 6 99 it's like an overnight cream, although it says face mask. It, it's called, it, it's got hyaluronic acid. I can't say that. Hyaluronic acid. <laughs> there was an advert, wasn't they, telling you how to say it? And it said it plumps, smooths and hydrates. It's 50 mils and it is really nice. I put some on last night. Look, can you see? That's the consistency of it. It's really, really nice. And that is a dupe, I, I do believe. Not got much of a fragrance, but a slight one. Um, and it's a, an overnight plumping face mask. And I think it's a dupe of the Elemis uh, plumping face mask, overnight fl plumping face mask. And theirs is £54. So this was £6.99. I mean, I don't know whether it's as good because um, I've had very few Elemis products. You know, they're a little bit pricey for me. Um, then also, there's the Sleep Hand Cream. This was cheap. I think this was $2.99. Um, I like a nice hand cream. So this obviously is a thicker consistency. Can you see? And this is slightly more fragrant, but a bit spa-like. It smells a bit like, you know, spa product. A bit of a neomy smell and then there's a, a sleep pulse point oil that i presume you put on before you go to bed to help you sleep so i just thought i'd tell you about those i'd update you on those now i do know 
that coming into Aldi um, shortly, they've got um, they've got a, a, a nice spa set of um, them last year in like brown bottles, a spa set of hand lotion and um, hand gel. So, you know, washing hand gel. They look really nice. They're coming in. And then the, I don't know if you remember the honey um, bath, it's like a bath theme that you put in the bath that foams it up it's like and it's like a honey you've got like a honey um wooden spoony thing um to get it in it's really really nice now that's coming in i think that's 6.99 so it's worth keeping a lookout for those um so um so that was so i'm just trying to think have i got anything else to say i have got coming up i've got a marks and spencer's dress haul um I've ordered some dresses from Marks and Spencers, so you can see those. Have paid for them. Have paid for them. I do have to say, I've ordered the glossy box um, calendar, the advent calendar, which I've paid for as well. I don't want people to keep thinking I'm. Uh, somebody was saying that they think I'm doing too many free products or something, gifted items. Well, I'm sorry if you do think that. Let me know. Um, it's always difficult, isn't it? Because sometimes you get gifted items all at once, and then you don't get anything for a while. I do turn a lot down. I've turned about four or five down this week. Um, but you know, if I think some of them are all right, uh, I have got uh, coming up um, a clothes haul um, from a company called Fly Curvy. And I wasn't going to do it at first, but when I looked at the clothes, I thought, oh, some of them are really nice. And I, do, and I have to say that I'm quite impressed with the quality of them. So I'll show you those. Um, and then what else have I got? Oh, I've got another collab coming up with UK Girl. Um, so there's a few things in the pipeline. So uh, keep watching, please. <laughs> so anyway, what I'll do at the end is I'll just show you a few photographs of um, when when I went out at weekend to the Barnet School, to, oh, I tell you what, if you're ever in the area, you want to go in there, you should see the cakes that I die for. And they were lovely. And I mean, they're very dog friendly. You know, we took Mabel. Betsy isn't into going anywhere, really. She just likes to stay at home. She panics a bit when she goes anywhere. She's getting old, though. So we didn't take Betsy, um, but we did take Mabel and, you know, she loves it. Though. Anyway, I'm going to go now. So watch the photos and video at the end if you want. If you're bored, don't bother. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to, please do. <laughs> and if you'd like to tick that box and leave me a comment, that'd be even better. Oh, sorry, I ended that video and I'm going to do the draw for the Fitville shoes now. So I'll, um, I, for, I, for, I completely forgot. So what I'll do is I'll get it all sorted um, and I'll, because um, I'll have to get my iPad and put the uh, the thing on, you know, <laughs> whatever it is, the, uh, the way that this random selector, I'll put that on and then I'll let you know who's won the, um, the shoes. <laughs> okay, bye for now. Right, so these are the trainers. I just have to tell you, my chair collapsed. I sat on it and it collapsed. I did mention it the other day, it felt a bit loose. Didn't do anything about it. Anyway, some screws that come out of the leg. So I ended up on the floor. So the chair is in need of repair. <laughs> my son will have a look at it. So these are the Fitville trainers. Now, what I've done is I've put all the comments into the random comment selector. Can you see? Um, I'll see if I can show it you in a bit. So now what I have to do is, oh, seven plus two is, I've got to put this in. Nine. Right, so I'm going to do start on the raffle. So all the names are going through, can you see? Sharon Rattray. So the winner is Sharon Rattray. Um, so, hi Sharon, <laughs> congratulations, you've won the shoes, the uh, trainers. So, um, if you can just email me on my email, which is tinastalktime at gmail.com and send me your address, I'll get them posted off to you. Anyway, congratulations. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now properly. <laughs> I was going before, but I forgot about the draw, my mind. <laughs> uh, so, um thank you for watching and if you'd like to subscribe please do um 
please subscribe and please leave me a comment i love getting comments i'm trying to learn about the community <laughs> the community tab i didn't know anything about it because you can't use it on an ipad apparently or well on my ipad you can't so i didn't know anything about it every time i clicked on it it said you know it didn't support it so um but you can on my phone and my laptop so i'll have to get to grips with using my laptop a bit more so anyway i'm going to go now see you shortly bye bye for now this is sandy and i at the bowling club dinner you'll see a cape the next black and white dress <laughs> this is a barn at scorton it's really lovely this is like the outside area you can see all it's surrounded by fields i mean scorton's in the forest of bowland it's it's a beautiful area it's probably about half an hour away from where I live. This is the gardens, you know, you can sit out and eat. That's where we sat out and eat, you know. That's where you take your dogs if you have taken dogs. I know I've shown you pictures of here before. It's just so lovely. The fields over there were absolutely um, full of sheep and birds. And the flowers, can you see all the lovely flowers? The colours are just starting to change for autumn. I was filming these flowers and then there was a bee buzzing around. Um, it, it was really, it was a, quite a large bee. I don't know, there, I think I filmed it, if you'll just see in a minute. Oh, there's Mabel. Look, you can probably see this bee in a minute. Can you see? It comes back in a minute. Like, isn't it marvellous how they pollinate everything? It's a, a beautiful bee. It was really quite a big one. Do you think I'm a bit sad filming bees? But it's so lovely. Look at his shiny wings. There, it's gone now. <laughs> yeah. I've got a bit carried away with this film and I filmed quite a lot, haven't I? I didn't realise it filmed so much. This was, we had a mimosa or a books fizz, what you want to call it. And then this was my breakfast. Doesn't it look delicious? It was delicious. It was absolutely gorgeous. This is some of the cakes at the barn. The cakes are spectacular. Just look at them. I'm not a big cake eater myself, but I would have liked a vanilla. There's some lovely vanillas there. That's sort of my favourite uh, cake, a vanilla slice. I'm not really into a lot of cream, but I do like a custard. Cherry scones. My mum used to love a cherry scone. This was a custard cream uh, cake. Just look at those cakes, they look stunning. Look absolutely delicious. There's the, cus the custard, uh, the vanilla slices that I like. It's very rustic in the barn, but they've got these beautiful chandeliers. I just thought I'd show you them. It's very unusual. Now, I think we're just walking through now to the gift shop. It's got a lovely gift shop. They've got a lot of the Christmas things in now. Everywhere seems to be getting the Christmas things in. Look at those little Santas, aren't they cute? And these were nice, but I wasn't quite sure what they were. They've got a light in, so whether it, that's just it with a light. A light up little scene. Oh, light up Christmas house, it says. These were candles. They almost look like desserts, don't they? And there was a table full of all different kinds of gloves. 
it's a really lovely gift shop you, you know you could buy a present for anything really from there it's like an aladdin's cave really those were cute with the little robins on this was an ornamental tree outside in the garden center i just thought it was very pretty this is the garden centre now. Look at those beautiful leaves, aren't they? Very autumnal. Now, this is when we drove on. You know, I was telling you about Scorton Show. This was a car park. Look at those storm clouds. They look really stormy. You can see the beautiful forest there, the forest of Boland. That's as far as we went because it was too expensive. <laughs>